and people are moving to serverless, they're going to take advantage of the serverless features, including the native features that are there on the cloud, because they're taught by the cloud providers to do that. The cloud providers don't teach you how to put their native interfaces their native features and functions in its own abstraction layer in its own domain where it can be reconfigured and configured so it provides portability. They teach you to leverage as many native functions as you can. And in doing so, there is some advantages to that. You do get some performance advantages from going directly down to the native interfaces. But the trade-off is always, like any other applications that run on the cloud, going to be locked into that specific cloud. And if you have to move it to another cloud provider or move it to another platform, that's gonna come into money, that's gonna come into risk. So if you must go all in one cloud, at least keep your data portability by using standard-based formats, avoiding sticky managed features, and documenting exactly what must change to move. So if our information or our data is going to be port portable from platform to platform, or even the ability to relocate our data to another platform that may still be leveraged by the serverless system, we have to think much the same way. In other words, if we're going to leverage our information, it has to be behind a single set of common interfaces that we define ourselves that are not specific to the cloud provider. And there's ways you can do it, CLIs, you know, different kinds of interfaces that, that uh, the database providers provide, but contact your database vendor, whether it's a you know cloud service or an on-prem system, and allow them to tell you how best you can make these database calls portable within a serverless environment.